Yamaha, a name that resonates with the roar of engines and the melody of music, stands today as one of the biggest motorcycle companies in the world. With a net worth of billions, this iconic brand has touched the lives of millions. But there's an incredible story behind this global giant, one that begins in the humblest of places. Let's take a cool trip through time and learn about Yamaha's interesting history and the amazing life of its founder, Torakusu Yamaha. It's an incredible tale that deserves to be told. So without further ado, let's get right into this amazing journey. To truly grasp the genesis of Yamaha's storied legacy, we must journey back to the formative years of its visionary founder, Torakusu Yamaha. Born in 1851 in Nagasaki, Japan, Torakusu's early life unfolded against the backdrop of a simple, rural environment. As a child, Torakusu grew up in a simple house, and he always had a strong desire to learn and explore. Even though his family didn't have much, his curiosity had no limits. It was during these early years that Torakusu's fascination with machines and mechanisms first began to take root. His tendency for disassembling and reassembling broken toys and gadgets became a common sight, much to the amazement and sometimes bemusement of his family. As he grew older, his interests expanded to include sketching intricate designs and reading voraciously about mechanical engineering. It was clear that Torakusu was destined for a life that revolved around the world of creativity and innovation. When he was just 14 years old, Torakusu started working as an apprentice with a nearby blacksmith. The knowledge and skills he gained during this time became the building blocks for his future goals. His experience at the blacksmith's forge taught him the value of accuracy and skilled craftsmanship. Now, inspired by the intricate clockwork mechanisms he encountered, young Torakusu began crafting small mechanical devices of his own. These early inventions showed his innate talent for engineering and design. During his early years in a typical Japanese village, Torakusu developed a strong sense of diligence and a profound understanding of the importance of dedicated effort. These qualities would go on to be the driving factors behind his exceptional accomplishments. The support of his family and his close-knit friendships within the community further nurtured his dreams and aspirations. It was within this nurturing environment that the seeds of his future success were sown. When we look into Torakusu Yamaha's life, we see that he was a curious and dedicated person with a strong passion for machines from a young age. These traits played a big role in shaping his future and Yamaha, the famous motorcycle company he would create. In the next parts of the story, we'll keep following his amazing journey. Torakusu Yamaha's life took an unexpected turn as he transitioned from his formative years to early adulthood. It was during this period that he finally started working on a career that would not only define his path, but also set the stage for his future as a visionary innovator. At the age of 18, Torakusu relocated to Tokyo, the bustling metropolis of Japan, to seek opportunities that aligned with his burgeoning passion for mechanics. In the vibrant heart of Tokyo, he ventured into the world of horology. Torakusu's apprenticeship with a skilled watchmaker allowed him to get deep into the intricacies of timekeeping devices. His commitment to his craft was unwavering, spending countless hours in the workshop, mastering the art of watchmaking. With time, Torakusu became renowned for his watch repair skills. His precision and meticulous craftsmanship earned him a reputation that extended beyond the confines of Tokyo, eventually reaching the ears of those seeking the finest horological expertise. In 1881, Torakusu opened his own watchmaking shop, an establishment that bore his name. Here, he poured his heart and soul into the meticulous assembly, disassembly, and repair of pocket watches and timepieces of all kinds. He didn't merely repair watches, he designed custom timepieces that incorporated ingenious features and improvements. This drive for innovation became a defining trait, foreshadowing his future contributions to various industries. Torakusu's watchmaking business flourished. He attracted a loyal clientele that marveled at the precision and beauty of his creations. His ability to blend traditional craftsmanship with innovative designs set him on a trajectory towards becoming a celebrated figure in the world of horology. Beyond his work, Torakusu was deeply involved in his community, sharing his knowledge and expertise with those around him. His generosity and willingness to teach endeared him to the people he encountered. The chapter of Torakusu Yamaha's life as a watchmaker 
serves as a testament to his unwavering dedication to craftsmanship, precision, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. These qualities, honed through years of horological endeavors, would soon become instrumental in the creation of Yamaha, a name that would resonate across the globe for its innovation and quality. In the chapters that follow, we will witness the remarkable transformation of Torakusu Yamaha's journey as he ventures into uncharted territories, ultimately paving the way for Yamaha's legendary legacy. As we move forward in the story, we wonder what other challenges and adventures awaited Torakusu Yamaha on his path to building Yamaha into a global powerhouse of musical instruments and motorcycles. The tale of how Torakusu Yamaha became a forward-thinking innovator and the creator of Yamaha takes an intriguing twist when we look into a crucial moment in his life. In 1887, Torakusu faced a challenge that would completely change his path. In the bustling city of Hamamatsu, nestled in the Shizuoka prefecture of Japan, a local elementary school found itself in a predicament. The school's reed organ, a musical instrument of foreign origin, had fallen into disrepair. Their search for a skilled repairman led them to Torakusu Yamaha, renowned for his exceptional watchmaking skills. Though unfamiliar with the complexities of reed organs, Torakusu's developed curiosity and determination led him to accept the challenge. He saw an opportunity to expand his horizons and to apply the precision and craftsmanship he had perfected through years of watchmaking. In 1899, Torakusu went on a solo journey to the USA, where he eagerly visited piano factories to gain a deep understanding of the intricacies of piano craftsmanship. I don't know what to do, exclaimed the head of Jinjo Elementary School as he gazed at a broken organ that produced no sound. Determined to find a solution, Torakusu began sourcing parts and machines and in the following year started manufacturing upright pianos. While the company continued to produce organs, Torakusu couldn't let go of his dream of crafting domestically made pianos. Torakusu began a quest for knowledge, diving into books and seeking guidance from experts in the field of musical instruments. He was determined to understand the inner workings of the reed organ and aimed to bring it back to its original state of excellence. Torakusu's tireless efforts and unwavering commitment bore fruit. He painstakingly restored the reed organ, giving each part and mechanism his wholehearted care and attention. When the reed organ was finally restored to its full functionality, the joy and gratitude of the school staff and students were palpable. Torakusu's exceptional repair work brought not only music back into their lives, but also an incredible sense of wonder and inspiration. The construction of a piano is far more complex than that of an organ. In 1902, he finally completed a grand piano, and his piano and organ earned an honorary grand prize at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. This is how the fateful repair of the reed organ would become a turning point in Torakusu's life, setting in motion a chain of events that would ultimately lead to the birth of the Yamaha brand. Fixing the reed organ, an instrument he wasn't familiar with, showed Torakusu Yamaha's knack for adapting, innovating, and tackling intricate challenges. At that time, he couldn't have known that this seemingly ordinary task would make the way for his successful path as an innovator and business person. Torakusu Yamaha's life was marked by dedication and innovation. He passed away on August 8, 1916, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking inventions and hard work. At the age of 65, he had sown the seeds of the instrument business in Hamamatsu and devoted his life to research and innovation. Yamaha in reality died of an illness in Tokyo on the 8th of August 1916 at the age of 65 years. And following his death, Vice President Chiyomaru Amano took over as the CEO of Nippon Gaki. After Torakusu Yamaha's passing, the company faced a challenging period in the following five years that nearly pushed it to bankruptcy. There were many difficulties which made Nippon Gaki products less competitive in overseas markets. In 1922, a devastating fire raised a new plant in Nakazawa and the main Itayacho plant in Hamamatsu. The next year, the Great Kanto earthquake struck, causing further damage to company facilities and the Tokyo office. Before the company could fully recover, Labor unions initiated a strike after Vice President Chiyomaru Amano initially refused to negotiate. Amano eventually conceded to the union's demands 105 days later, once the company's reserves were depleted. Board member Kaichi Kawakami, 
by request of the other directors, took the presidency in 1927. A director of Sumitomo Wire Company, Kawakami made an unexpectedly non-traditional choice in accepting the position at the troubled company. Kawakami cut production costs and reorganized the company. Half of all debts were paid within 18 months of Kawakami taking over. After Kaichi Kawakami's death, his successor and grandson Jinichi Kawakami took over who shared his grandfather's spirit of innovation and determination. As Japan's economy began to recover, the government recognized the potential of the motorcycle industry for both transportation and the military. Jinichi Kawakami was only 38 years old when he became Nippon Gaki's fourth president in 1950. Kawakami brought new wind to the company's sales with his creative approach to management, strengthening and reorganizing the company's corporate structure, improving the efficiency and productivity of the production lines, and more. Under his leadership, Nippon Gaki became the world's leading piano manufacturer in terms of volume. In the early 1950s, the Japanese government approached Yamaha, among other companies, with a request to develop a domestically produced motorcycle for military use. This marked the turning point that would lead Yamaha into the world of motorcycles. Jenichi Kawakami and his team embraced the challenge wholeheartedly. Their relentless pursuit of excellence and innovative thinking led to the introduction of Yamaha's first motorcycle, the YA-1, in 1953. This 125cc two-stroke bike was the inception of a new era for Yamaha and a testament to their engineering prowess. The Yamaha Ya-1 was a game-changer in the motorcycle industry. It featured cutting-edge technology, such as a pressurized oil system, advanced for its time, that ensured lubrication even in extreme conditions. The bike's performance on the racetrack was equally impressive, showcasing Yamaha's commitment to innovation and quality. The success of the Ya-1 on the racing circuit not only earned Yamaha a place in the hearts of riders, but also established the company as a dominant force in the competitive world of motorcycle racing. Yamaha's innovation and dedication to quality didn't stop with the YA-1. The company went on to produce a series of groundbreaking motorcycles, each pushing the boundaries of performance and design. Iconic models like the RD350, the legendary YZF-R1, and the powerful VMAX became synonymous with Yamaha's commitment to excellence. These motorcycles not only found their place on the open road, but also dominated the world of competitive racing. Yamaha's racing success included numerous Grand Prix victories and World Superbike Championships. Their track record of excellence not only demonstrated their engineering capabilities, but also solidified their standing as a force to be reckoned with in the racing world. Today, Yamaha stands as a global giant in the motorcycle industry, with a presence in nearly every corner of the world. The journey from the repair of a reed organ to the creation of a motorcycle empire has led Yamaha to a remarkable place in the present day. Yamaha's commitment to innovation and quality has not wavered over the years. Their manufacturing facilities are equipped with cutting-edge technology, ensuring that every motorcycle that rolls off the assembly line is a testament to their pursuit of excellence. Yamaha's design studio is a hub of creativity, where designers and engineers collaborate to create motorcycles that not only perform superbly, but also stand as works of art. The pursuit of form and function has been a defining trait of Yamaha's modern motorcycles. Yamaha has also embraced environmental responsibility, striving for eco-friendly solutions in their production processes and motorcycle designs. Their commitment to reducing their carbon footprint and conserving resources reflects their dedication to a sustainable future. Yamaha's modern motorcycles continue to capture the hearts of riders worldwide. From the agile and sporty YZF series to the versatile MT lineup, Yamaha's offerings cater to a wide range of preferences and riding styles. Yamaha's presence in motorcycle racing remains a force to be reckoned with. They have clinched numerous championships in MotoGP and World Superbike, reaffirming their position as a dominant player on the racing circuit. Beyond their motorcycle business, Yamaha's commitment to making a positive impact extends to their philanthropic efforts. The Yamaha Foundation and various community initiatives exemplify their dedication to giving back to society and supporting education and the arts. Yamaha continues to push the envelope of innovation, not only in traditional motorcycles, but also in emerging fields. Their ventures into electric motorcycles and autonomous vehicle technologies are setting the stage for future advancements in mobility. 
As Yamaha continues to evolve and shape the motorcycle industry, we are reminded of the incredible journey that began with a humble repair job and the determination of a visionary man. Torakusu Yamaha's legacy lives on, not only in the products that bear his name, but in the spirit of innovation and excellence that defines the Yamaha brand. The story of Yamaha is not just a tale of a motorcycle manufacturer, it's a testament to the power of innovation, perseverance, and the unwavering pursuit of excellence. Torakusu Yamaha's vision has left an indelible mark on the world, and as we celebrate the past, we also look forward to the exciting innovations and milestones Yamaha will achieve in the future. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through the history of Yamaha and the remarkable life of Torakusu Yamaha. If you found this video interesting, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel.